day nine of making one hundred thousand dollars guys thank you guys so much for the support on these videos i love you guys please go ahead and like these videos and subscribe to the channel i appreciate it a lot guys i have an announcement coming pretty pretty soon but for the today's hot take is how do we even know that you exist guys please comment down below i really want to hear your answers and for today i actually want to talk about why what is the difference between free js and babylon js and i've actually made a little template for you to actually learn what the difference is between these two 3d javascript frameworks so basically what 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 they both have in common is basically they're both javascript libraries where you where you can use them to actually develop 3d graphics on the browser right so that is what you actually do understand that is what i've been doing now what should you use you should basically use freejs when what when you want to use it for quick prototyping you want to build your own little website portfolio you want to build it for small projects or just do creative coding with 3D elements, guys. And you can also use this uh, this built-in animation system that it has. Now, the use cases for Babylon JS that will usually be games. And what am I creating right now in this series of day, day X, making $100,000? I'm creating a game. So I am going to use Babylon JS. And that's what I've been doing for all this time. And you can also use it for VR, AR. It has great compatibility with that and great support for that. It, and also use it for large scale simulations because it actually uses Havoc physics. And it also, I, I do believe that Babylon JS, JS can also use your graphics card processor. It basically can use its power and that is what is, what is this, what it, it what it, it is great for i can't even speak today but let's go over some of the differences uh, well freejs it is basically ease of use so it's simple for beginners it has great documentation guys please go and subscribe to the channel the community is actually pretty large it's been there for some time so it has a bunch of tutorials even on this channel flexibility great for custom implementation because you can literally do anything with it performance requires manual optimization so you really have to know what you're doing and what you want it to do specifically you have to be very careful with that with babylon js it is feature rich guys it has a whole bunch of tools just built in and also advanced features that are taught about the havoc physics it is absolutely beautiful and it is just mwah. For in terms of performance, it is optimized out of the box. You don't even have to do a bunch of what is it called manual manual uh, optimization. No, you can literally just use what it provides from straight from the box. Ease of use is also user friendly, and you can literally create these uh, these uh, what is it called built in scenes with Babylon JS, so that is good. Documentation it it also has an uh, extensive what is called an an extensive uh, active community guys you can literally ask anybody on stack Overflow. just go, go ahead and google stuff and you will also get some answers use cases games we've already been through this well some what are some unique features about these well the freejs actually has extensive plugins so numerous plugins for additional functionality like physics you actually have to like get it from somewhere else Shader flexibility, you can actually code your own custom shaders and materials for highly unique visuals. And it also has a robust support for keyframe animations and skeletal animation. animation. So it will be great for importing like G GLCF models, Light lightweight 3D models. What are the features for, for Babylon JS? PBR materials, you can actually do physically based rendering from, for the materials for realistic surfaces physics engine mwah, that is beautiful it is it has integrated it has an integrated physics engine for realistic interaction and simulations editor tool babylon js editor it, babylon js editor is also good for designing and managing managing scenes that i talked about earlier visually without code guys just drag and drop web xr support Built-in support for immersive VR and AI experiences, guys. So this should give you a pretty good understanding of what you want to use depending on your use case, guys. Sorry for that. For the announcement, guys, a website is coming soon, guys, and that will be our little community. I hope that we can just 
post a bunch of uh, posts and do and do have a bunch of like uh, just basically talk about stuff on this channel i think it will be very awesome and you can also go ahead and may maybe we will sell some merchandise i think that is it thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below see you on the next one